a story filled with myth Consult gods from history, men that are sick on the sticks NCAA football is where they now exist As guardians of the dynasty, they are sick on the sticks Out of Florida, a freight train chain is the name Crushing all his rivals, cause that's the game they play From Filthy to Wisconsin, they never stood a chance If you feel insulted, get on his show Trash talk Tuesday at 9pm There is no weekly, nothing like this exists These men are all our giants, they're sick, bomb the sticks You try to be just like us the story's all the time Might as well call Disney You're a Jedi and we're Order 66 Filthy hands and the U The hurricanes are ablaze Count your days cause you're through Filthy's usual will dominate you He stabs people daily So watch out for his bliss D-line back or safety He's sick on the sticks and now jr starts to growl gearing up for the big fight he may play taylor swift but on the field you'll feel his bite kiss your ass to the kennel or don't you get my drift this man is a dog he's sick on the sticks Just the middle of this song We got Dynasty Jonesy So and Best of us there in the mix I told you we're all sick On the sticks We got 22 other guys I haven't even made worse Straight coaches shine First bombs is smooth God's just playing a little game Expert, it's even in his name Hard hitter, Evans or even rich You could be his next bitch There is no weak This league is Hall of Famers, every single guy. Your league is just a decoy. We got Stevie, Irish, and B-Boy. If you want to get humiliated, retro NBGs and can facilitate ya. T-Raw is last in this mix. He's still sick on the sticks. So challenge us to battle. We won't run from a fight. If your league is worthy, you might win the night. But just remember this. We'll make you our bitch. Because every one of us is sick on the stage. There is no weekly. Nothing like this in Sticks. You try to be just like us, the story's all the time. Might as well call Disney, you're a Jedi and we're all 66. How many times do we have to tell you we are sick on the sticks?
Well, we're in the playoffs, everybody. Welcome to Snipes TV Gaming. I am your boy, Snipes. We are in the building. And look, we're going to have some fun tonight. There, there's a reason why we're going to have some fun tonight. All right. Uh, it's going to be very interactive here. Okay. Very, very interactive. Uh, and we're going to talk about it in just a moment. But this is going to be a banger of a game here. Wolverines, Longhorns about to get this thing cracking here for the college football playoffs here for the sick on the sticks college football league. And I got my guy, J Dog is in the building. J Dog, what is cracking, my brother? Good to see you. Good to hear from you and all that. Hey, hey, thank you so much. Really appreciate you having me on as always. Yeah, we are. I mean, we're in for a fantastic show tonight without a question. This Wolverines-Longhorns matchup is going to be fantastic. These two teams are very closely matched when it comes to offensive and defensive prowess. Both users are great. Both rosters are phenomenal. And we are in for a hell of a time here at the Verbo Fiesta Bowl. Oh, man, this is going to be a goodie. This is going to be a goodie. So, look, so can you tell us real quick before we get this thing started, all right. Mm -hmm. Before we get this thing started, how interactive are we going to get tonight? Talk to talk to oh. the people. Talk to the people. All right, we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get very interactive tonight. We're gonna bring a little bit of uh, J Dog flair to this stream, and when I, I say like that, it. what I mean is, for those of you that have been to my stream before, you know that for a certain amount of channel points, you can make me take a shot. Well, it is September, after all. Yes. And so, for one night only, on this broadcast, for every five subs from the community, ya boy, on this very broadcast, is going to take a shot. Oh, so, boy. That can be whatever it is. Oh, boy. Um, and then that's going to be the added fun twist for tonight. So, come, uh, uh, come one, come all. Yes. Get these subs in here. <laughs> And they're starting. They're starting already. <laughs> they're starting already. You knew Fright was going to do it. You knew if what did anybody, I tell you? <laughs> you knew if anybody else was going to do it, Freight was going to do it. So there it is. <laughs> Your shots must start. Now, just so everybody knows ahead of time here right now, Snipes does not drink hard liquor. I don't do it. But I do have a Modelo Oro on the side here with me right now. So I will be sipping with my brother. I won't be getting as rough and rugged as this guy does. And you got to take another oh shot. Oh, my God. You got to take another shot. You got to take Shame. another shot during this playoff matchup as kickoff is underway. And here we go. So this is going to be three. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, yeah three yeah, shots. Yeah. You I'm got, fucked. We're yeah. good. <laughs> I'm sorry. I that, said I wouldn't swear. That's it. That's that, it. That's the no, only no, one. No, no, you're good. You're good. You're all good, man. You're all good. Don't even worry about it. I understand. <laughs> it's the liquor talking. First okay. and ten coming up. <laughs> yeah. First and ten coming up. I did want to shout out real quick before I get gone because this is what's about to happen. And make it four, this, by the way. Make it four, by match, the way. Oh, my goodness. All right. Here we go. So, this matchup, Evans has the edge on offense. Yes. Yes. Straight has the edge on defense. Yes. So this is, I'm expecting a very close game, a very close game. And I honestly, because of that edge, I'm not sure who I favor. I guess this is an offense heavy game. I sort of expect Evans to come out on top. Um, but I do think it's going to be a very, very good one. So here we go. First and 10 is Quinn Ewers. He's going to get things started here for Texas. Third ranked Texas at that, and he'll start it off with a nice little swing pass, and he will get the first down on the play. It is so refreshing to come back and broadcast a college game. Been bro broadcasting Madden all day today, and to come back and and get something going here with my, you know, with this college game, I absolutely love it, and I'm so happy that we're here calling it together, man. Because again, this playoffs. It's playoff time, man. This is win, lose, or draw here between Michigan and Texas. Absolutely. Um, I did have, uh, I think the audio should be good now, Shane. We're doing something a little bit different that we weren't able to get uh, loaded up before. So audio should be good now. I think I figured it out. Um, but yeah, it's, as we come here, it looks oh, wow. like. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. He's got, oh, he almost oh. got it. 
That was close. As you go back and there. take a look at the replay, and you can still it see the right replay, there. right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Now I'm looking at it right now. Ooh. Wow. I How think, did he drop that? I, I think it was right through his hands. He just, no, he just he dove a little bit or a, a little bit late, I should say. He dove a little bit late there on that one. But a second and ten coming up. Man, that's rough. Still, though, I love that he's going for it, right? Oh, yeah, you got it. He's going for the gusto early. You like to see that. As Quinn is back for the pass here again, and he's got the drag wide open, and he'll get the first down on the play just like that. So yours today already up to 40 yards. You could see his completion rate 68% in the regular season. And again, 3,394 yards and 30 touchdowns. He was special in the regular season. It was absolutely spectacular. So was Orgy on the other side, though. Yeah. These quarterbacks have come out to play all season long. I don't expect it to be any different in this game. I definitely don't either. First and 10. As yours is under center, single back set. Trying to bark the calls out here. Let's see what he's got. And hands it off here and will get close to the mark. It gets past the 30. Down to the 29-yard line for a six-yard gain on the play. It'll bring it down to a second down and four coming up. I like that call. Uh, you know, pretty pass-heavy to start the drive, but also remember, you got a solid halfback, 834 yards on the season. And let's, you know, slow it down a little bit. Let's make sure we got some balance and keep make sure you keep Michigan on their toes because, again, he does have, you know, Texas has the edge defensively. So Michigan's, the, let me be very clear. Both offenses were really good. Both defenses were really good. But you do want to keep that Michigan defense just a little bit off balance as much as you can. Second down and four here at the 29. RPO to the right side. It's going to be caught. Takes off and gets knocked out at the 13-yard line. That'll get him a new set of downs. First and 10 coming up here at the 13 as Quinn Ewers continues to move the sticks. Yeah, and I really like what I'm seeing from the Texas offense so far. They are very balanced. They are moving it down the field. It's positive play after positive play. The, you know, the one drop was like not even a negative. It was just nothing. But I love that they aren't losing any momentum. They're just keeping it rolling. So first and 10 coming up here officially in the red zone as he'll hand it off. And he'll get a little tough two yards on that particular run there is going to bring it down to a second down and eight is michigan trying to hold texas down and possibly just force a field goal yeah and this is when the field does get small it gets condensed in that red zone players are really fast it's hard to get a lot of those openings so we'll see what he's got what what are you going for here if this is your ball i'm hitting a, i'm hitting with a play action here i'm gonna figure it out you know i'm trying to get the running game going but i think i'm a i'm gonna hit him with some type of play action here Get a drag involved, but nonetheless, he's going to hit him with a screen instead. And that is going to be no bueno on that one. So that'll bring it down to a third down and 11. And at this point, he's got to go up in the air uh, at this point here on third down. Yeah, so he can technically get a first down without the touchdown, but it'd be a rarity. Beautifully covered on the screen right there. That's what you want to see when you call man coverage and they run a screen. You want to see a guy on the ball quickly. And let's see what he's got in his bag of tricks here on third and long. Third down and 11 here at the 15-yard line. As Quinn Ewers back for the pass. Blitz coming straight up, and that forces him to throw a bad pass, and that'll bring it to a fourth down. And you got to assume he's going to take his points. <laughs> You have to. I mean, this is way too important of a game to not do that. Um, these hash kicks, though, they suck. <laughs> That's big facts. That's the one thing about this game. These hash kicks are crazy, but he does make the field goal this time around. And for the first time today, we get a score. So it's 3 nothing as Texas gets on the board. And here comes Michigan for the first time today. Let's see what they come out here to do as he will go ahead and down that thing so you talked about alex orgy earlier he was special as well too and this is his regular season stats thus far here j dog absolutely he's had a phenomenal both quarterbacks have been great um it, orgy has it absolutely done what he needed to do obviously to get his team this far in the playoffs with one of the best offense i believe he had the third or fourth best offense in the ncaa uh with him at the helm Hands it off here, and there goes Edwards getting things started here. Gets about 
a four yard gain on the play brings it down to a second down as you can see Edwards had a little over a thousand yards in the regular season 17 touchdowns he was an absolute monster running the football into the end zone in the regular season second and six coming he up here lose for the end zone that's for sure as orgy is back and he'll get the completion we'll get the first down and then some and he is knocked down at the 42 yard line so a new set of downs coming up here for michigan they move the sticks for the first time on the day yeah Peyton o'leary that's a wide receiver looked much more like a tight end that guy is huge uh, great <laughs> great cut up the middle to get 10 yards out of a flat route you love that also shane of course those shots are gone mama ain't raised no quitter first and 10 coming up here at the 42 yard line as he hands it off here to donovan edwards again and the big body back it's about a seven yard game brings it out to a second down for the guys that have just tuned in again we're making it a little different here today he has already had to take four shots today thanks to freight train giving out the five subs every five subs today Every five subs, J Dog made... has to take a shot. He's taking four I already made that today. Number <laughs> <laughs> but we're doing it. We're doing it for the people. We're doing it for the broadcast, and uh, and we're doing it for our gracious host, Snipes. And definitely appreciated indeed. Second down and three coming up here with ten seconds remaining on the play clock. Yeah, he's got to call this one now. Not a whole lot of time. To and finally him. back, and he throws it quickly to the... Was that his tight end? Yeah, that is his tight end getting the catch there. That's a first down. That's a, that's a big boy there as well, too. I was about to say, like, like I know he doesn't have two <laughs> huge receivers like that. But a first and well, 10, well, no, and they, they're at the 34. They, they're, 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 they're playing on us because it was 81 before. It's 18 now, and they're both giant people <laughs> <laughs> pistol set coming up here on first and 10 michigan moving the sticks yet again as he'll hand it off here to edwards tries to break to the outside good job on the edge protection there by the defense and that'll be a second down to 13 loss of three on that last play he yeah, has the first loss of the drive and let's see how he executes at the end of this drive because remember texas drove down the field like without a problem it was in the red zone that they started to slow down and ultimately had to kick a field goal so let's see how michigan can uh, and evans can respond here will they slow down or will they execute and get in the end zone frederick moore on the slot left side there that was r1 he looked like he was open there for a moment but he decides to throw the screen pass and he does get a little closer to the marker it's going to bring it out to a third down and two as we get ready to end this first quarter and a decent game so far and a good drive here by michigan to see if they could continue to move the sticks here yeah and that was like a mahomesian pass like is a weird angle on that coming out but a great throw out of the sack to get a lot of yards out of what could have been a disaster so third and two coming up here with a second remaining and that will do it here for the first quarter so the first quarter in the books here in this playoff matchup and i tell you what again this is a pretty solid game so far to start the first not a lot of offense but these guys are moving the ball downfield with no problem so far yeah honestly they are moving the ball down the field so easily that it's a little bit surprising that it's like three to nothing first quarter um spoiler alert we are looking at longer quarters and probably gonna have those next season um but yes very close game both offenses are executing really well i really think this one is going to come down to the wire so third down and two coming up here as he hits him with the play action and a lot of time and he tried to wait and he just sealed them off he's out there playing basketball right now that's a first and goal now at the three yard line straight up posted up right there i love the basketball call out because that's exactly what that was right in the corner there just out muscled his man for that catch and i know evans loves to see it and i know straight is wishing that was a knockout first down and goal coming up at the three let's see if we get the first touchdown of the game today and rpo to the right side and that is easy pickings for the game's first touchdown that could not have been more open. It's like R RPO should normally be about a decision. There was no decision there. Right? Look, look at this. Just watch this play here. This tight end is just naked on the outside. Nobody covering him whatsoever. So it's a seven to three game as Michigan gets the first touchdown of the game here. And Evans with a four point lead. 
Yeah, we'll see. So, so this is, you know, let's go back to basketball, right? Ball is in straights court right now. I'll, I, I'm interested to see what he comes out with his drive. I really want to see more of, honestly, what he brought in the first drive. There was nothing wrong with his first drive. He moved the ball well. He executed, like, 9 out of 10 plays. It was that 10th play, metaphorically speaking, once he got in the red zone where he came up a little bit short. But I don't want him to look at the score and panic. I want him to play his game, continue to move the ball down the field and execute, and he's going to be just fine. But... I'm still interested to see exactly what he chooses to do on this drive. So first and 10 coming up here at the 25 yard line. So what's uh, what's your take so far? How, how are you feeling about I it? I mean, the, the first two drives so far, this has been, you know, again, as I stated a few moments ago, both of these guys are just moving the ball downfield with no problem. Like so far, so good. Obviously, mm. Michigan able to punch it in the end zone early. Uh, let's see what Texas could, Texas could do here as he hits him with another screen pass. But that's good defense there and covering that screen. That's going to be a four-yard gain only. And a second down to six coming up. But again, these guys are moving the football with no problem. But again, just the way how it be, You know, this game is about inches. So at the end of the day, you have to realize that that first drive with Texas not scoring and then the first drive with Michigan scoring... It's a four-point lead now. If Texas, in my opinion right now, I feel like, and it's early, but I do feel like they need to score a TD right here, right now. And it's a good start here as they'll get midfield to the 49-yard line. First and 10 coming up right now. But again, I think that they have to get a touchdown right here, right now. They have to get a touchdown. They cannot go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Michigan at this point. Because Michigan's going to end up coming up, coming out on top if that's the case. So they just have to just, they have to get a touchdown here and they need to get a stop on the next drive to kind of slow Michigan down a little bit. I like how Michigan looked on that first drive. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I completely agree with you. I The one thing I will say, I think that if there is a single turnover, that might actually be the thing that could decide the entire game. And, and, you, and you're probably absolutely right on that one. And a nice little comeback route there. That was dangerous, but he he could not get the completion. As they tried to throw it there to Isaiah Bond, did not work out. It's a second down and 10 coming up here. And again, that, that route right there, that is a dangerous route to run. I've seen that so many times, j Dog, just get picked for, you know, for a pick six mm -hmm. all day mm -hmm. long. You know what I mean? That's a, when he let go of the ball, I was like, oh, yes. and I just said a turnover could be bad. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Second down and 10 coming up. Quinn barking out his calls. A little bit of a shift here for the defense. And he's going to launch this up here. He's trying Isaiah Bond again, but the defense is right there neck and neck with him. And it's a third down and 10. Yeah, and he's got takeoff, so I understand why you're looking to go that way two plays in a row. Um, he just wasn't there, and maybe he is going to either change up the cornerback that's matched up against him if he tries that again, or maybe the different look. Um, but I don't think he's just going to, like, outside of other factors, I don't think he's just going to win that one-on-one -on -one downfield every time. So straight back to the pass on third down, and that is incomplete. Lucky threw it directly to Michigan. That's going to bring it now to a fourth down, and it looks like the punt unit is going to come out here. Yeah, and it's funny. I think if he throws at the guy on the right side there, Evans was definitely forcing a wide receiver off his route the entire play. I, If he throws that way, that has to be pass interference. I don't. There's no defensive holding in this game, I don't think. That was a weird look. Yeah, um, and I've done that accidentally myself, but it, like that was holy good goodness like we run them back that play you're gonna be like that guy had no shot at his route no he definitely um, didn't <laughs> he definitely did not you got to call a fair catch on that one that's that that's playing a dangerous game right there so here we go first and 10 as michigan gets the ball back here with edwards and edwards gonna take off breaks the first tackle and he gets the first down down to the 46 yard line and a good start here for the wolverines yeah, I mean, it's, that's all you want out of a running play when you come out run heavy, look, and they stack the box. Like, that's that's a fantastic result as far as Evans is concerned. So first Great and 10. Cut there too. Yeah, fantastic Great cut. cut. Yes, indeed. So first and 10 coming up. I agree with L. Donovan Edwards is a problem right now. 
Man, man they put him on the game cover for a reason. And back for the pass here. Wide open. There he goes. Oh. Running in a crib. Like his name was Search Warrant. TTC to the crib for the touchdown. touchdown. That was crazy. It looked it looked honestly risky. Well, it looked open and then it looked risky. And then and so get the look right here. Just a straight a straight pass. Yeah. I think the safety missed that, honestly. I think the safety absolutely should have animated on that and didn't. We got to look at and it one more time. Yeah. So, so you look at the safety coming over the top. He just barely, look, yeah, he just barely missed this thing. Look at this. He doesn't do anything, though. Like, yeah. But, and maybe it's, maybe it's too high for him. Yeah, that might have been a little too high for him. Maybe. But he just doesn't even try. That's tragic. Maybe, maybe if he even just tries to bat it down, it's a difference. I don't know. But. Wow, that would, that, that was, that was interesting. That was, yeah. that, that was definitely an interesting play there. But nonetheless. Looks like that could have been dangerous yeah 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 but he did but he did he did actually he did actually again you know what matter of fact one more time while we're sitting here on pause one more time here uh we'll take another quick look at it here but once again i mean this is just a a simple streak route and the defense had an opportunity but he couldn't switch off in time it looked like yeah to get an opportunity to be. get there yeah it looked like he just didn't he just couldn't switch off in time to get there i do sort of hate that you have to switch off it's like yeah can't can't, can't the cpu guys just actually try <laughs> <laughs> but you know, but but at the same token you know what i mean at the end of the day you want to be able to have some type of user in this game he tried he tried to but it was a little it was a little bit too late on that one hey guys don't forget everybody that's just tuning in here again my guy j dog he's in the building uh you know here commentating with us and he has made it something special today he's already had to uh throw down four shots but, but you know by the way matter of fact what you drinking on here today tonight um well until i run out of the bottle because that's what i feel like might happen um we are currently drinking on some good old-fashioned jack daniels okay uh, so jd in the building this is for what it's worth I, I assume it's the exact same blend that they're using but the bottle was the uh mclaren like the f1 team for okay. any of you that follow that um the mclaren xjd so it's like a, a mashup between mclaren and jack daniels i like and uh I like it. I, li I, I like it. All right. So, yeah. And, and look, Jay Smooth said in the chat, he said the J stands for Jack. Yeah, yes. Okay. <laughs> First of all, Jay Smooth, that is not true. And you know this. Austin <laughs> L, I want to say, I want to credit you. Tequila is almost always what I'm shooting when I do this. Yeah. But I'm damn near out of tequila. So, uh, so, that's, so we, that's why we switched had, up to the Jack. He had, to guess, he had to guess something else. Look, again, I said it in the chat earlier. I'm going to say it one more time. Snipes does not drink hard liquor. I don't do it, <laughs> but I got my, my Modelo Oro, and yeah. it, you know I got it on deck. And matter of fact, my my, my um my, my my tall can is about to be complete. I started it before the stream started. Right before the stream started, my tall can is about to be complete. That's probably that's probably all I'm doing for the night because I'm, I'm 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 a weakling. I'm going to say that right now. You, I'm going to stop you right there. It's because you don't have to do crazy stuff like this to make yourself interesting, right? <laughs> You're just all that. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. But, you know, but it, it does, it, it does definitely make the, the stream pretty, uh, pretty fun to say and pretty lit to say the least. I, I will well, say that. Well, it's like every, everyone's waiting. They're just like, oh, eventually he's going to fall off that you know, cliff. Uh, this and I'm here to <laughs> prove the haters wrong. <laughs> But don't forget, listen, every five subs, every five subs, or every five gifted, we are get, he has to take another shot. All right? Yeah. So he's already at four. He's already at four. So he's got, we still got a lot of time left here with 322 remaining yes. here in this first half as he gets to completion there to Bond. Bond using that speed, and he is knocked down at the 40, and that'll get him a new set of downs. First and 10 coming up as Texas is still looking for their first touchdown of the game they are i like there was a lot going on in that play though i think it you know it was enough to confuse the defenders and whatnot uh absolutely as smooth pointed out great open field tackle 
Indeed. Um, and I, I just also want to say, yes, this is this is a fun, interesting stream. You keep on bringing up that they can like sub five to get me like shots. That's fine. You're gonna like, and we agreed. You will deal with whatever the aftermath is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like yep, just agree. in case anyone's joining late, you it, can drop you, five subs and you, he takes. Hey, 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 we we totally agreed. Nice cut inside, Ooh, but he only weird. gets two yards on the play. So second and eight coming up. But yes. I'll tell you what though, that cut avoids like a what three four yard loss. Yes. So you'll take that uh, ten times out of ten. Looked like it was a disaster. Yeah, that was definitely as you you took a look at that quick little inside replay there. That was. That was definitely, yeah, he definitely avoided a major disaster on that hit there. So second and eight coming up here at the 38-yard line. You was in the gun set here again. Defense trying to shift things up. Back for the pass, and Ewers will get the completion. Everybody does not intend if Isaiah Bond once again. He has been a high-priority target here for Texas here, and it's a third down and eight here at the 38-yard line. And I like what he's doing here. He understands, hey, we're about to go down to the two-minute warning. We have to successfully sustain a drive. And got to gotta put up a touchdown. I don't like to put these ultimatums on somebody this early in the game. But it does sort of feel like a touchdown needs to be on the menu for Texas right now. I agree 1,000%. They need a tutty. Let's see if they can get it here on third down. And another comeback route. He does get the completion. But mm -hmm. once again, as we talked about a few minutes ago, those those passes they're dangerous they are they are like the, the two of them he's got away with. Well, well we got away with in terms of they didn't get picked the, the last one did get knocked out this yeah. one was caught though yeah and now this is the, now but but here's the thing the, the the thing about michigan's defense right now is that they have been blanketing those those, those plays so they're, they're there every single time as look at Baxter take it off here and he'll get about a nine yard gain on the play bringing out to a second down and one but again they've been blanking in those little comeback routes so it's only a matter of time before we see a pick on that one yeah or or what if it's only a matter of time until we see a double move for a touchdown down the sidelines so a second and one here at the 19 yard line freight train you are tripping right now <laughs> you are man i said i was only dropping one f-bomb and i'm gonna stick to that but shane but shane forget Go, yourself yeah no you, you you could have said it it's all good <laughs> no, no, I, i'm a man of my word <laughs> Second and one coming up here. Hits him with the play action. Nice flat play. He's going to be caught. He'll get the first down and then some down to the five. So first and goal on an extremely solid play here. And it looks like Texas is knocking on the door of a score. It does. I will give credit where it's due. Evans is covering the middle of the field like a hawk. You'll notice he's only when he's when the passes are coming out for straight. They're coming out on the outside. The middle is not there, but he's taking what the defense is given to him. And I like that look. First down and goal here at the five yard line. Clock continuing to tick down here as he'll hand it off to Baxter and Baxter's gonna get stuffed quickly Ooh. for absolutely no gain whatsoever and a second down coming up. I mean, he needs to score a touchdown here, right? Uh, absolutely, absolutely. He needs a touchdown here. I don't think, it, it, are you allowed to go for it on fourth down here if it happens? Yeah. Okay, he needs to go for it on fourth down. <laughs> He, 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 need, he needs don't, to actually. Don't ask, don't, he needs don't to ask the commissioner that's four shots in. They, they, like, they, yes. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, yes. But no, actually, 100, 100%. So, a second to goal here at the five, and not only oh, flipped it the wrong oh, way. Oh. What the oh. play right there? He decided to flip it, and there's the ticket into the end zone oh. for the defense. TTC to the crib. For the touchdown. Oh, touchdown! No! I feel like he just keeps that and he probably scores! But he pitched it and the pitch was read beautifully! Man was read like a book! Like we all read Harry Potter as a kid! That's how fucking red that play was as another wow. moment. But look at this! He just... He knows! Wow! He knows! That is disgusting user coverage. 
disgusting baits him into it because 100 percent viewers can just cut that up and score but evans is so confident that the pitch is going to come that he just plays it played the man like a fiddle wow that was unreal and that is an unfortunate event for texas now because now they find themselves down 21 to 3 now again this is college football anybody can make a comeback man we just saw freight last week with a major comeback and an incredible game so anybody can make a comeback here i'm telling you that now but at the it's end true. of the day that last play that play is a eyesore that is a heartbreaker for a team that was driving the football down with no issue on the drive and then just pitches that ball for a pick six that was absolutely crazy defense it's a backbreaker that's that's at least a 10 point swing i think literally it's a 14 point swing so it, it, they're pointing out in chat you need iron resolve yes out of out of straight right now if he it, look, look, listen i'll i'll say this right now if he comes back and he wins this game if straight coach comes back and he wins this game after this first half that he has had including that last play if he comes back and he wins this game he can very well move to the national championship i'm gonna call it out there right now if he can do this if he can if he can wilter a comeback here he can move to the national championship i think he okay, can do hey, it can, can i like volunteer the stakes to be higher for you sure let's do it <laughs> if he if he can come back we will we will broadcast his next game and we'll both take a shot at the beginning of you it. know what i'm down for that let's do it okay. and, and, and and look and i don't look i don't dr i don't drink hard liquor but i and, and we'll do it on camera too we'll do it okay. on camera well, i don't drink hard liquor but i will take a shot because i do have some something here i don't know what i got something <laughs> but I, I, it ain't gonna be water either i'll make it a point it ain't gonna be water believe that oh wow oh, oh wow oh, he's got it there it oh, is that oh, is what the doctor oh, ordered big play big touchdown. touchdown oh my goodness look at that the ice in the veins i love that absolutely love that celebration that's what you need because that's what you gotta have wow There's, listen this first half was a disaster but you got to stand your ground and he did that listen that it's still it's still not beautiful but that is exactly how he needed to come into the second half i love that out of texas and straight coach that is a whole look that is everything for the first half this last play was everything for texas Yes. They needed this play like I need water here in Arizona. <laughs> Badly. And he got it. That's the bottom line. So at the end of the day now, this game is not over, folks. It's 21 to 10 as we get ready to start this third quarter of this playoff matchup. And again, this is that last play was everything. Now, Texas needs a stop, J Dog. They need a stop right here right now and they got to get himself another opportunity to get back in this game and possibly make it 21 to 17. he needs a touchdown next offensive uh set he needs a touchdown but he's got to start here with a stop defensively yeah and let's not get ahead of ourselves because like he does need to stop but i will say this too after that play if he can get a stop if he cannot give up points on this drive he is living rent free in evan's head so here we go first this and is, 10. This is such an important defensive stand for him indeed as edwards is going to get to the outside that's great job by, by the defense mm. and that is a huge loss of two there for donovan edwards it's going to bring it now to a second down and 12 coming up donovan edwards is you're running the football pretty effectively here today but a couple a couple tackles here by the texas defense has been kind of shutting them down a little bit and it's a great job here starting off the third quarter it takes a village right he's gonna break the first tackle so you bring more than one guy to tackle him so orgy under center back for the pass on second and 12 the quick pass gonna be caught and he'll get knocked down and it'll be a third and short now coming up a great job again alex orgy making the solid play calls here thus far 
I, I agree with that, and I love that. You got to take the underneath. You take what they give you. Does set up third and two. I'm sure Evans is thinking this is pretty free. He's got his whole playbook to explore for this one. He's got to love the fact that he avoided contact on that first level right there to just get it to third and two. And we'll see what uh, what happens from here. Indeed. And, 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 and that's a guy right now from Michigan that has been – Getting quite a few catches here today. I think he's got quite a few mm -hmm. catches out there. Uh, Cortland uh, Loveland, I think that's his name. Um, he's got quite a few catches here for Michigan today. So uh, he's going to be a guy, I think, within the second half that we're really going to have to pay attention to because he's a tight end that has a lot of vertical threat. And 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 he's been really uh, he's been really targeting him quite a bit in the first half, and he's starting off the second half doing exactly the same thing with there uh, with Loveland. Yeah, well, and that's part of the problem with the, those kinds of tight ends, right? You can know, hey, this is a guy we got a spotlight, but what do you do about it? Who do you have cover him? Yeah. Like anybody big enough to do it's not fast enough. Anybody fast enough's not big enough. It's like that classic problem that's been in the NFL, college football, whatever, for the last like, you know, 15-ish years. It's these athletic tight ends that are like half tight end, half wide receiver. Who do you have cover them? Might be one of those problems here. As he's going to get it out here. And does he get the stop? He will oh. get a stop. It's fourth and inches. Frederick Moore gets stuffed. And it's a fourth and inches coming up. This is a huge play for the Texas defense. On his own 32. I think he does have to punt here. This is I, a punt. I think he's going to smartly. Like, let, let's be real. It's the smart thing to do whether or not you can go for it. You're up 21 to 10. So but. Texas is going to get another opportunity here, and it's a first and 10 starting at the 38-yard line. So, hey, I like to stop here by Texas, man. Now he's got to put some points up here and get back in this ball game to see what straight coach can do here. I agree with you 100%. I will say if he can score a touchdown somehow it will see he won't even have the lead but he will have scored 14 unanswered that's a big thing psychologically for players so let's see what he does and hands it off here and will lose a yard on the play so that's going to bring it now to a second down cj baxter can't get much of anything going on that last play so second down coming up here for texas and again, even though he didn't gain any yards, really, I still love the play call. He isn't pushing. He knows. Yes, I do need slash like I at least want to probably need to score a touchdown on this drive, but I don't have to just go balls to the wall right away. I can run my offense and score touchdowns. I've done it. So that's what he needs to do. Second down at 11 here at the 38 yard line. As you were just back for the pass, the drag was there. He pump fake, though. And I don't think he meant to do that, but that's going to bring him down to a third down and 22. Maybe he got nervous on that play there, J-Dog. Nah, yeah, that has to be it. I can't think of another, like right there, right? Yep. I, I feel like he had to have like, yeah, that, that had to be nerves, like, or, or, you know, a mistake, but there's no way he didn't mean to throw that flat right there. Third down and 22 coming up. That flat was wide open, excuse me, drag was wide open on that play and here we go third and 22 good protection launches it up here and he is gonna attempt a long one and that is incomplete and that'll bring it now to a fourth down as once again he is out there trying to get ryan niblet in the mix he's a 96 speed wide out but he couldn't get him going there it's a fourth and 22 they gotta punt it I just saw that name and straight up all i could think of was toy story mrs nisbet <laughs> <laughs> that's where my brain went good tackle right there however that's gonna bring it to a first and 10 here at the 31 yard line again shout out to everybody in the chat rocking with us playoff action here for this sick on the sticks league here between the wolverines and the longhorns big shout out to my guy freight train man putting up all the all the stops here with the artwork and everything else shout out to my guy First and 10 as he hands it off to Edwards again, straight up the middle. And there's oh. that big body again, just acting like a bus out there. And it's a first and 10 coming up. Yeah. And that's for, for all of the the fanfare and the awesomeness that was going behind straight coaches drive. It does feel like if Evans can put the ball in the, in the end zone on this one, 
It's going to be rough waters out there for Texas. Especially the fact that we're coming close to three minutes remaining here in the third quarter. So time is of the essence right now. As he gets the quick pass outside, he'll get the completion. There's Big Boy again. And he's going to get a five-yard gain on the play there for Colston Loveland. Second down and five coming up. Colston Loveland just out there like making grown men look like children. He is so big. It's like he barely got taken down on that play. I, I just... Yeah. yeah, I mean, Love is a beast. He, he's an absolute beast, six foot five. He's an absolute monster out there, and he's showing it completely within this game. Second down and five, and a quick flat play going to be caught by Edwards. And that's another mm -hmm. beast as well as he'll get the first down now at the 40-yard line. Donovan Edwards with his first catch of the day, getting a seven-yard gain and a first and 10 here at the 40-yard line. Yeah, it certainly does feel like this is the dagger drive. I think that's what Evans is thinking, too, as he operates his offense. And here goes Edwards again, keeping this running attack alive. And it's a three-yard gain with about two minutes remaining here in the third quarter of this matchup. Great ball game here thus far. And, man, Michigan, if they put up score up here, j Dog, this could possibly be curtains here for Texas. It could be curtains. It's, you know, it's it's never over till it's over, but it certainly does feel like this is like the march, right? That dreaded march that that losing teams feel wow. when the opposing team has the ball. I tell you what, man, this this Michigan squad right now, they are moving these sticks here in this Fiesta Bowl. Orgy 11 for 11. 158 yards doesn't look like a whole lot, but he has executed everything that has been asked of him. When well, you got a perfect pa uh, passer rating right now, I mean, what else? Can, what else can you ask for, for from a quarterback at this point? Yeah, yeah, 100. percent First and ten here at the 21, and Orgy tried to get Beautiful. knocked down, or tried to keep the football, I should say, and gets knocked down for a loss of Make four in the play, brings it to a second down. And you know that Texas straight is looking for the strip sack right there. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, the quarterback kept it. He shouldn't have. Maybe we can get the ball back. Didn't quite happen on that play. Did get the tackle for loss. To L's point, if L thinks that if they can uh, the hold the Wolverines to three, that it'll be okay. I'm not so convinced because the clock is ticking, but we will see. Second down to 14 here at the 25 yard line. I'm gonna finally get it off it. Wow, what in the world happened there? It doesn't oh. matter anyway. He's gonna punch in a Michigan touchdown. touchdown. 81 18. Those two guys have been absolute menaces this entire game. Michigan goes up 28 to 10 that it, it's early, but that does feel like a dagger of sorts when you go back and look at this play. Pay attention to circle. Look, what is circle doing? Literally nothing. He's coming back to the quarterback like he's trying to sack him. <laughs> Dude, that was wild. <laughs> that, that was wild. I tell you, some of the get some of the things in college football, man. Some of the things is just uh, you, you can't make this stuff up. You can't. Some of those things make you say you ain't seen nothing like that. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, he's got his wide receiver trying to sack him. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Even more crazy, that dude just broke open at the back end of the field. Like that's that's the one breakdown that Texas can't have on defense right there. And unfortunately, that's what happened. And we're gonna get a delay of game here as well. So another five yards, tack on another five yards lost. Hey, we got Smitty in the chat saying any open spots in the league right now? No, however, we do have a wait list that we would absolutely love to talk to you and put you on. So if what you're seeing on the field right now is something that you're interested in, you'd like to be a part of this league, this is sick on the sticks. We would absolutely love to incorporate you and, and, and talk to you and feel out uh, exactly what you're into. So uh, I know I got admins in the chat right now. Uh, oh, wow. Give you a wow. That's big. Oh. That is big. And Michigan might have sealed the deal on that one. Mid Burrows with the pick six touchdown. Ah. touchdown. 
I said that last play might have been the dagger. That play was the dagger. It's uh, it's hard to say. I hate to say it, but it's over. That play was just beautiful run back. I, you can't make that mistake this close, right? Wow. Look at that. What an interception. And he has put the dagger into the skin and twisted it. And it's a mm. 35 to 10 game now. Shane said it best. Evans is reading the bedtime story. It is, it's unfortunate for this great Texas season. We can't again, 11 and two ranked third in the nation. Nothing to take away from this Texas squad, but, but, but this hey, game, this game has not gone their way. I'm gonna tell you what right now though, it's a 25 point lead. Most guys in the chat, I think everybody knows what that means here on Snipes TV game. And I think you know as well too. But in case you don't know, oh shit, it's official. It's nose wipe season. As right now, <laughs> Texas is getting their nose wiped by 25 points. Anytime somebody's losing by 24 points or more, they're getting sniffed. It's nose wipe season. Man. Look, yeah. Straight coach, he's got to try to fight back. He's got one whole quarter left, and he's trying. That's just a bad throw, and that's going to be incomplete. Second down, 10. That's a desperation throw right there. Second down and 10 coming up. Yeah, I, I would say that. Is it a bad throw? Like, yeah, if it the score is even, but it's not. So it is a desperation throw for sure. You got it. Like, you've it it's probably still a bad throw even with the score, but in his position, he does feel like I got to make something happen right now. So I, I'm not going to hit on him for that throw. I get it. Probably the final play of the quarter coming up and there's another pick uh, and the no. other number seven is going to punch it in the end zone for yet another pick six touchdown. Ah. touchdown. Well, this game did just go from bad to worse. It's it's hard to say. It's I guess I want to say it's surprising, but it's really not because once you get in a certain position where you feel like you have to score quickly, you start to force things. So this was not something that straight coach was doing in the first half. Of course, he got down. It's starting to get late. He does feel like he's got to force things, and that's where you get those mistakes. And that's the primary issue right now is just like you just stated. It, he's he's forced to just do everything downfield now. There's not much of running the football anymore. There's not going to be a lot of you know just just being able to you know to run clock you can't do it now you right. can't you can't do it you know what i mean you, you can't do it it is you know it is what it is at the end of the day freight said in the chat that straight's daughter is in his lap uh in the second half so he's a bit distracted family first no doubt about it family first indeed no question about that got to handle business uh, uh with the fam but without man, question tough tough game hey. here today we, we, we've got uh, we got a lot of people that watch this broadcast. If any one of you are putting this game before your family, I need you to go ahead and pause it, take a big step back, and literally fuck your own face. <laughs> I'll steal the line from Drop of Thunder. That was my last swear, I promise. Oh, my but, like, gosh. That's, that's <laughs> seriously reprioritize if this game means more to you than your family. That's all I will say. <laughs> yes, indeed. Second and 10 here at the 25. And yours back. And he's going to take off here, and he's going to fumble the football. And oh, they're going to pick it back up. They, it, it, oh, I thought that was number seven again. I was about to say. Wow. <laughs> Man. Tough, tough game for Texas here today. And they are just completely showing out in this game now. As Edwards will get the tote here, cuts it inside, and we all know about college. College, there are no, there, there's just no, there's nothing whatsoever you can do if you are getting your behind whooped. And today, Ed, that is just the case for Texas, unfortunately. Second down. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will say this: if I'm Evans, I'm there's there's Donovan Edwards isn't touching the ball again at all. Like 
because he he tears anything. He yeah. sprains anything. You you're toast next week. So they did recently add the feature where you could just mass sub the entire second string. Yes, yes. There's there's a Great button feature. in the menu. I would be hitting that right now if I I, 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 I agree one thousand percent there. I feel that uh, I mean, he, he's he's still moving the football with no problem. Oh, wow. 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 <laughs> they said, hey, I, you know what? You get a touchdown. You get a touchdown. Opa Winfrey in the building giving out touchdown. touchdown. <laughs> is, is she up at the booth calling plays? That's, that's the only thing I can think of. It is absolutely the just you get a touchdown, you get a touchdown. That's, that's what's happening right now. Wow. I mean, Man. I guess he's on. Is he on? Yeah, he was on top of a player. Yeah. And is able to get the ball past the pylon. Uh, Man, why couldn't I, they do that for my guy Freight last week? I'm just <laughs> saying. I, I hate justice the, for Freight. I, 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 yeah, yeah, justice for Freight, man. Free Freight. <laughs> man because last week he got robbed no question about that man freight says i was in that's not what bill clinton said but here we are yeah. <laughs> nine yard gate on the player bring it out to a second down and one 507 remaining in this game you can see orgy is still perfect on the day 183 yards passing three touchdowns and 12 for 12 on the day do you think he gets mvp of this bowl I, that that's hard to say probably i guess you know what Nick, I, I, I ain't giving him mvp i'm not giving him mvp i'm giving the mvp to the defense yes I, no I'm, I, I'm giving it to the full defense today I'm going to let you talk because you stole my point, but I'm going to let you talk <laughs> because I'm going to back you up after it. No, no, no. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm just giving it to the defense, man. No, I mean, I, the defense across the board, they've just been spectacular today. I was just going to say, I miss the days when the MVP, the player of the game, could go to somebody on the defense when they just balled out. Yeah. And that's exactly what happened today. Yeah, like, absolutely. Oh, and they almost got another one right there. I mean, they almost got another one. Wow. They've been a menace. I will say, I, I said in the beginning of this game that Michigan had the edge on offense and Texas had the edge on defense. And Michigan had the edge on both sides of the ball and then some in this game. It wasn't an edge, it was a chasm. Yes, it was. That's what it was. So, absolute props to to Evans and of course understand straight played the entire second half with his daughter on his lap as he should Big because, like who cares about a random bowl game when you can make memories with your kid indeed no doubt about that I, I must concur with that one my brother so Michigan gets the football back already up 49 to 10 with f about four minutes remaining in this game and Let's see what's going to happen here. He's going to give it to Edwards again. He's trying to get Edwards some more touches here today. He's got 10 totes on the day for 69 yards. Uh, but again, if if right now, again, if I'm Evans, everybody's coming out the game. That's it. Yeah. Like, it it's a wrap. 100%. Everybody's coming and out. Let me, let me be clear. This is not against the rules, but like, why? Why? My brother in Christ, why are your starters in the game right now? <laughs> I agree. I I agree. There's no reason for the starters to be in the game now at all. As Edwards will get another tote here. And, the, you know, the thing that's really going to hurt him. And, you know, obviously, I don't want anything like that to ever happen. There there, there are there are uh, injuries in this game, right? Yes. Okay. So that's the one thing I would not want to happen. I don't want yes. Edwards to get hurt for the rest of the playoffs. Well, uh, it, it, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, it's worse than that because wear and tear stacks up and it accumulates over the season over the season so even if he doesn't get hurt in this game he'll be more tired in the next one exactly. and more likely to be injured so exactly and that's all you need is for somebody like that to be actually out of the game for you and look at this play oh my goodness he's able to punch it in again another michigan touchdown yeah i there, there there's no world in which I am scrambling with my quarterback to dive into the end zone to get likely blown up late in a game that I'm winning by multiple touchdowns 
ever. I'm never doing that just because that's a really stupid thing to do because the guy could get hurt. Absolutely. But, you know, I guess if you're really feeling it in a game that you're already completely dominating. And you, you know what? And, and, and you know what's funny too? Like, you know, Frey, Frey said in the chat right now as well, uh, when he, he talked about it, how he had a career ending injury with his halfback in week one. Now, that I've never seen. I have never seen that before. And hearing that is like, that's scary. I'm taking everybody out. I mean, right. even uh, realistically, with 235 left, uh, even if I'm Texas, I'm taking everybody out. Like, what's the point? Mm -hmm. Let everybody else get some burn. You, you got some, you got some juniors, you got some seniors here. You want your guys to come back. You don't want to have any issues whatsoever. So take them out and allow them to be able to come back fresh and brand new for the next season. 100%. Well, and it, it, so, so on Texas's side of the ball, it's like everyone will be fresh by next season, unless, uh, assuming there's no like catastrophic injury. Right. Wear and tear won't. Like, like, like what happened with Freight. Yeah. <laughs> right. And sure, that can happen on play one, but the the game is coded so that it's much more likely to happen on game. And here we go. Oh, there okay. we go. Finally able to punch one in. He gets a touchdown finally. He does get the touchdown in the second half. He got one in the first. It's <laughs> man. But yeah, it, this game has been it's been decided for a while. Yes. Um. And you do like again. You just want to see everybody walk away healthy. That's all you like, want. That's all you like, want. I'll say it frankly. Less so on Michigan's side if he doesn't put his backups in already. Again, no rule. It's just like I, I'm not gonna feel bad for you if your starter gets hurt when you were up 56 to 17, and you kept on like putting starters out there. I, there's no like. I don't care. Also, <laughs> when you go out to play in the semifinal game next week and all of your players are yellow on their wear and tear, I don't feel bad for you then either. So I, I guess we could talk a little bit about it right now to, you know, to, to the guys that are in the chat. Uh, so obviously we're about to hit the semifinals. Okay. That's right. Um, Frey, can you do me a favor and uh, when you get an opportunity on Discord and send me the uh, send me a screenshot of the bracket, please, so that way I have the actual brackets because I want to see what's going to happen with uh, you know, with the semis and who's going to be in the semis and everything. So this weekend, I typically you know typically on Saturdays, I uh, you know I go to church in the morning and things like that. Um, mm -hmm. this weekend, uh, we won't be having a service this weekend. So I will be available, uh, Saturday throughout the day. Uh, okay. so I, I want to kind of see what's going to happen with the semis and then obviously the championship game and see what everybody's schedule is going to be looking like, uh, to, you know, to, to get into the, you know, the semis and the championship games as well too. So, and I don't know what your schedule is also. We'll talk about that off air obviously with you yeah, and your yeah, schedule yeah. uh but mm -hmm. but i just want to kind of inform everybody right now here in the chat that uh we're definitely going to be getting some semi-final games and then a national championship game uh popping off here so stay tuned for that uh i know we see a a big blowout here but i got a feeling in the semis and the championship game i don't know if we're going to see this this type of uh this type of situation are these the two I best teams in the playoffs right now I mean, that's impossible to say, right? <laughs> right? Yeah, like, I mean, no, it's college, you're that's right. Not even, that's political, I get it, but it's also the truth. Like, right. I, there's no way to know. Going into this game, I did not think the score would be 56 to 17. Me neither. <laughs> so, I didn't either. So, so if you're asking me about the rest of it, like, what, what do I know? What I do know is that they will be games you gotta see. And the other thing that I know, and I hate this kind of level of hype or whatever, but let's see, let's see any activity at all. If you gotta just type the number one in the chat right now, 
if you are excited for the next snipes and jet like i mean maybe i can just go fuck myself <laughs> are you excited for the next snipes broadcast in the playoffs because we've got the semifinals, we've got the championship game we got games that are coming yes are we excited for this or not let me see you guys there's there's 12 people i get this just 12 but i know you guys are listening to me right now so let's get active in this chat right here you know because what? yes yeah go ahead no no i was just gonna say I, I had to put my one in there because i'm super excited i'm just saying i, yeah. I, I had to put my one in there because I, i'm really excited I, I love championship i love playoffs and i especially love commentating championship games because I, I get the juices flowing doing that type of stuff man so i i, I so can't wait for the semifinals to get going here man but unfortunately man texas it took a major l here today i'm 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 intrigued to see what coach is gonna do uh you know obviously in the off season as far as his recruiting and everything else and see what he's gonna be able to do uh you know you know throughout the rest of this whole situation man because this was yeah. crazy no this was crazy and the one thing that i will say for texas it's he is still at the university of texas yes he, he'll be fine he he made this game he will be okay he will be able to recruit maybe even a better team and maybe a team that suits yep. what he wants to do with the offense better um i know he had a good class this year i can only assume that making it this far in the college football playoff will ensure that he's got good enough recruiting power next year so i don't doubt at all that that texas and straight coach will be back in force next year do not think at all that this score reflects what you should expect out of this university next year third down and three and looks like you was going to take off here he's got some greenery nobody came to help block <laughs> and unfortunately for one last time he styled on that middle linebacker yeah hey, <laughs> like, he, he did <laughs> he did he definitely did man Hey, Shane called it out, though. Number 11, Michigan, didn't just upset number three, Texas. They uprooted them. Yes, this they did. This was a slaughter in the second half. The first, Hey, they had us in that first half. We thought this was going to be a really yeah. good game. Yeah, we definitely did, no doubt. Didn't end up being that way, and it was for reasons that everybody understands, or maybe not, you know, who knows. But the point being... This is absolutely a game that Evans came out and dominated. I said it at the top. Shane said it at the top. He was like any other game, I would say, Evans, but I'm taking straight coach. Man, Fiesta Bowl is in the books. 56 to 17, the final count in this one. And I, I got to say again, this was a, a, I mean, I mean, you can't, question he was perfect on the day 100 percent completion mm -hmm. absolutely perfect today man and, and uh gotta give him props man orgy did his Great. thing here today and i will say this too you may look at this box score you might look at just the score and say well his quarterback had 100 percent completion rating who cares it was 56 to 17. it like no he was on his business yes the he was higher game that man was a hundred percent completion rating when it mattered the absolute most so no question about it alex or G absolutely balled out in this game deserved to get player of the game and and michigan's gonna move on man so michigan moves on officially 56 to 17 the final count of this one is you take a look at the bracket big shout out again to my guy freight show uh sending the bracket to us as it looks like we're about to hit the semifinals soon as you can see michigan moved on uh they'll be yes. playing the winner of byu and ohio state oh, that oh, that game is over so that the game's game over. yeah the that... game is happening in the semifinal wow. it's michigan ohio state michigan Let's go. ohio state in the semis wow Wow. Man, I will tell you this. I will tell you this. If I could have scripted this college football playoff, I probably would have done some things differently. But I would not have scripted a semifinal any different. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and we get the game. Yes, that's the game. That's the game right there. That game must look, look. 
all three games have to be broadcasted. So we got to get this situated. Freight, I know you are on it. I know you're going to be on it as well, j Dog. I know all your commissioners are going to be on these games. We got to get these yes, games sir. broadcasted. No doubt about it. Um, so I I'll let you guys know what my schedule is tomorrow. And then, um, do. and, then, and then uh, I believe actually on Friday, I don't have much of anything going on. So if one of these games have to be played on Friday, that's fine. And then obviously Saturday, anytime during the day, we can go ahead and get and, and get this championship locked in and complete. Um, but man, Ohio State, Michigan in the mm. semis. Ohio Street. And look, look, let's not sleep on Syracuse. Syracuse is in the semis. And I, I'm assuming Virginia Tech and Georgia have not played yet, right? That's right. It does look like uh, it does look like Georgia is going to get the win off of that because uh, our Virginia Tech user is out of town. OK, OK. So Georgia. <laughs> so Georgia's going to move on. So we're going to see yes. Syracuse and Georgia and Michigan and Ohio State in the semis. Yes. OK. All right. So, yeah. So, man, I, I, I'm not I, I'm not going to sleep. Is that L's team? Syracuse is that L team? Yes. Okay. Yes, it is. Okay. Let me let may I? Yeah, yeah, yes, you may. Let me break down how amazing these semifinal games are gonna be for those of the brethren from this SATS League game that are here tonight. Alright? Let me tell you this. Retro and Syracuse are a semifinal game that is Georgia against Syracuse. And I know you're looking at name planes and you're like, well, crap, Georgia should absolutely blow the doors off of Syracuse. You would think that and you would be absolutely wrong because the Big Ten has shown up sort of in different ways. And in, <laughs> but listen to me when I tell you that there will be no clear, decisive blowout win in that semifinal. I promise you this. Retro is going to have all that he can handle in Syracuse and L. And whoever wins that game will be the deserving representative from that side of the bracket um, in the national championship. And then, and then, I don't need to say more, it's the game. It's Michigan versus Ohio State on the other side in the other semifinal. Like, you couldn't hype a semifinal game more. No. Just about the only way that game could be more important would be if they were playing for the literal national championship. Unfortunately, this year they're not. Who knows? Maybe next year. Doesn't matter. Big shout out. The Big Ten has three semifinal teams. Three of the four. So, let's go ahead and see who is going to win this thing and who is going to make the most of their opportunities in this absolutely epic semi-final weekend that we have man this is going to be just such a great finish to the postseason like this this is this is going to be so great it really is man i am i'm so looking for yo that that I mean, that Michigan Ohio State alone is just going to be wild. It's just going to be so wild. But Dude. I am definitely looking forward to watching Syracuse play. I, I am looking forward to seeing what L is going to be able to do with Syracuse going okay, against let me George. You. Have you not? Have you not seen Syracuse play yet? I've not seen them and not in this league. No. Okay. Oh, you're in for a treat. Now is he starting? Uh, is he starting Kyle McCord? Kyle McCord is his uh, starter on on Syracuse, or is he starting? Uh, I, the, 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 I think they had a they had a quarterback. If I'm not mistaken, that has like 92 speed. Don't they? I he think, says no. He says no. Yep, Michael, he, Johnson, Michael Johnson. Yep, yep, yep. I just looked at the stats. He's got 92 speed for a quarterback. Okay, so he's starting yeah. Michael Johnson Jr. Okay, he's doing fine for himself. <laughs> yeah, 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 obviously, obviously, <laughs> obviously, he is doing great for himself. So, uh, so yeah, so he's starting Michael Johnson. Uh, but but Syracuse, they 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 have they got some pieces on that team. 
I think uh, Zed Haynes, if he still has him there, uh, I think that's a guy that's a, he's got a fa he's a fast wide out. Um, the yeah. running backs aren't as fast, I don't think. But when you got a quarterback man with 92 speed, goodness gracious! I mean, I mean, you're gonna have to watch out for his legs. Period. End of story. You know what I mean? Yes. That that that's just gonna be wild. That's that's definitely gonna be wild. But I'm definitely looking forward uh, to seeing Syracuse and Georgia, man. I'm in mean, Georgia. We don't even gotta talk about much. Uh, we know what George is all about and, and what kind of team that they have, arguably the best defense in this college football game. But it is all about the user. You know what I mean? That's so at, right. at the That's end, right. it doesn't matter what you got on your team. It's all about who is the user and who is rocking with this team. If, 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 if he doesn't know how to use the team, it doesn't matter if you got Georgia. It doesn't matter if you have Michigan. It doesn't matter if you have Ohio State. If you don't have the right user that knows how to use these teams, it's all for naught. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, mm -hmm. I think these semis, man, I think they're going to be fantastic. And I definitely cannot wait to see Syracuse and Georgia and then also Michigan and Ohio State. Man, it's going to be a banger. Oh, I can't wait. We got to definitely get things scheduled and ready to go for this one. But man, so 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 real quick before we get out of here. Yes. Did, did you get did you get at least tipsy? from the shots you had to take tonight are you like i should hope that people could have told <laughs> I, <laughs> maybe <laughs> i'm not that far gone as like a person <laughs> that drinks alcohol yeah 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 <laughs> yeah that, that you could, but yes i did i couldn't tell if i got more tipsy on the alcohol or that first half action yeah. because it was hot and heavy and that first <laughs> half was amazing and i understand that the second half didn't go the way obviously the texas and straight coach wanted but i will say this i don't think i have ever been more hyped in my life and this might be the liquor talking who knows to cast to broadcast a game than I am for these semifinal games that are coming up. Yeah. Because they are going to be the stuff of legends. Yes, 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 yes. Man, I can't wait. I can't wait, man. I can't wait. Dude. Frey said he's Frey said he's calling he's calling BS because you flew to England to see uh Taylor Swift. I heard about that. So you flew to England to see Taylor I Swift. Did. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. Great. Hey, look, at the end of look, at <laughs> look, hey, you love you love who you love, man. You, you love who the, you love. Yeah, you love who you love. And at the end of the day, bro, like it, look, you, you you went to England to see Taylor Swift, man. You made it a point that that's what you want. Hey, look. Everybody has their love, man. Look, I got a love. I? I I got a love. I, I'm a, I'm going to let you go in a second, but I'm going to tell you okay. right now. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah. a love for my New York Football Giants. As much as I hate what I saw this past Sunday, I got a love for him. I went to the Super Bowl out here in Arizona. First year that I moved out here was in was in, on that year, 2007, 2008. I moved out here to Arizona that mm. year, and I went to that bowl. I had to. They were in my backyard. It was yeah. made for me to go. I had to go. I went. Right. And I got to see my Giants knock out an undefeated New England Patriots squad. I was extremely ecstatic about that. You love what you love. You're going to pay for what you love, no matter what it is. And at the end of the day, I, I got to give Strong J to you, man. Look, you flew to England. I didn't have to fly. You did. You know what I mean? <laughs> Strong J to you, man. I, I'm giving I'm, I'm giving you virtual claps here right now because that that's 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 something. That's something going all the way to England, man, to seeing your favorite singer. I will say this. So, so let me be very clear. I did do that. And like, it, of course I did. I, I don't know if I can, and this is like, we don't have time for this. I don't know if I can quantify favorite singer or band. I don't think I look like, because, and this is going to throw a real, like, like no one's going to know. Tool is actually my favorite band. Okay. And, like Tool and Taylor Swift are like, they couldn't be more opposite. But the point being, yes, I did do that. 
We also, I have a good friend that lives in London. I ended up having a phenomenal trip with a really good friend of mine through Northern England and then Northern Ireland and then Ireland. And it was a, an entire great time, but absolutely yes. One of the central parts of that trip was seeing Taylor Swift because that show was incredible. And I like, you can hate me for it. That's fine. If you're gonna, <laughs> nah, hate, me, not, if not you're gonna hate me, like, not you, not you. But if anyone's gonna hate me for living my best life, then I'm sorry. That that you're not living yours. That's all I will say. Um, but going back to this league, what we are absolutely going to do is having our best lives on these next few casts. We will lock this stuff down. We're going to have a great time. And seriously, once again, I thank you so much, Snipes, for graciously offering your platform for this league and providing such amazing commentary. And honestly, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart as we go into this playoff run where it's just going to ramp up and ramp up and ramp up and be more crazy. I, for, for those of you that are in our league that are watching right now, like this dude didn't know me from a stranger on the street <laughs> 10 minutes before our first broadcast. Yeah, yeah. And he didn't bat an eye to it and was like, yeah, let's bring him on. And I'd like to think that we have had great broadcasts. Absolutely. And I've had a great time the whole time. I think the league has too. And I, you know, I can't wait to to cast the next game with you, man. Man, it, yeah, well, it, it's coming up soon. We know that for sure. We're going to get that thing locked in and ready to go, man, because I'm, I'm looking forward to these next three games. They're going to be special games indeed but look we're gonna call it a night everyone again the final count in this one michigan 56 texas 17 michigan wins the fiesta bowl and moves on to the semifinals against ohio state definitely cannot wait for that one man that's gonna be a banger anyway with that being said for my guy j dog i am your guy snipes y'all take care be blessed and we will see you guys in the next one we are out y'all slide folks <laughs>